The government will initiate a few more major policy programs for Singaporeans to, among other things, enhance social safety nets and keep upward paths open. Prime Minister Lee Sien Lung announced this as he wrapped up his seven-day visit to Europe. Parliament will be prorogued after its sitting on April the 14th and it will reconvene in May with the President setting out its program for the rest of its term. It was a warm welcome for Prime Minister Lee as he joined Singaporeans in London for Singapore Day on an early spring afternoon. He said it was a fitting climax to his visit to Europe. Amid the celebrations, Mr Lee gave a hint to Singaporeans of what to expect from the government for the second half of its term. The broad scope of it I've already sketched out in last year's rally, which is our rebalancing towards the stronger social safety nets, towards um, making sure that paths upward are open, towards helping everybody to level up and improve their uh, quality of life as well as standard of living in Singapore. And how to make that into programs, we've started, we've already got the MediShield Life, we've got the Pioneer Generation Package, I think these are two major components, and there will be more pieces to come, a few more pieces to come. As for the Pioneer Generation Package, Mr Lee said it had gone down well with Singaporeans. Even as many appreciated the gesture, he paid special tribute to Singapore's first battalions of volunteers. The PDF, the one PDF and two PDF, and these were the... Uh, the, I think it's, they were called 101 PDF, who came, put on uniforms, drilled with whatever weapons we had then, marched with pride on the first national day, uh, and including among them uh, uh, ministers and MPs, Osman Wok, Fong Sip Chi, and several others. And I think all these people, uh, that was a very special moment in their lives. On how the government will continue to strengthen social safety nets, Mr Lee said that it would be a gradual shift in a calibrated, controlled manner. There are another couple of significant things which we need to do, but it's as much a shift in our mindset as it is of the individual policies. And I don't think there's a final end point to this because this is a balance which will gradually and dynamically change as our situation changes. Reflecting on the gathering of Singaporeans in London, Mr Lee said overseas Singaporeans are a part of the big Singapore family and that it was good to come together for such a happy occasion. Singapore Day will be held in China next year and the Singaporeans there can look forward to something special as the nation celebrates its 50th birthday. Saifu Bari Smile, Challenge Asia, London.